Hey guys, I'm Griffin Dunn from Seaford, Delaware, here at WBOC's Historic Studio D. You're watching Delmarva Life. Every now and then, if you sit on one of Delmarva's beaches, you're lucky enough to catch a glimpse of the Atlantic bottlenose dolphins gracefully making their way up and down the coast. So if you ever wondered just how many dolphins there are in our waters, well, guess what? You can help find out. Suzanne Thurman is the executive director and the founder of the Marine Education Make sure you this. Marine Education Research and Rehabilitation Institute. Did I get it yes. right? Yes, you did. It's Very in Nashville. Good. You may know it as the Marine Institute. And you're the founder of it. I don't, I just That's fascinating to me. So you have a dolphin count coming up this next weekend. Yes, we do. Tell me about that. This is our annual dolphin count. It's held every year, the third Saturday of July. And it helps us to get a general population census on the Atlantic bottlenose dolphin. And those are the dolphins that are in our waters throughout the summer months, usually from April through October. And these are pictures, I think, from recent uh, dolphin counts that you've had yes. with the Murray Institute. Yes. Why is it important to know how many dolphins there are? Well, dolphins as marine mammals are protected species. That species is currently not an endangered species, but by getting a baseline of data for a healthy, seemingly healthy population, that helps to give us red flags if indeed their population starts to show a decline or potentially an increase. So this baseline data just gives us that starting point. And since we do the count every year and have done so for 12 years, we have a great database in place and we hope to see a good healthy number of dolphins during the count this year. If for some reason we didn't, then we might start to look into some more in-depth studies that would give us a little more. So what more. would uh, a healthy number of dolphins be? Our typical number is between 300 and 400 for the morning of the count and it's just a two hour count from 9 to 11 a.m. And then you just kind of average it out, figure out what would what is probably there. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're looking at the warmer waters affecting everything else. Do you mm -hmm. think the warmer waters have affected the dolphins? Well, it's it's a little hard to say this soon in the year. We did notice, however, that they started showing up in February as opposed to April. So that was a change. And since typically the baby dolphins or calves are born along the way as the dolphins travel up here from the south, we feel that they were probably born right off of Delaware and Maryland coast this year. So you really need a good accurate count. Yes. You're looking for dolphin counters. Yes. So what do we need to do to? Well, they, anybody who would like to volunteer for the event on July 21st can call our number at 302-228 5029 and then I can give them more information and more details from there. And that's just a direct connection to the Murray Institute. That's a direct connection. To find out more about it. Okay. Yes. So we've got some information here uh, that we want to share with the viewer. If you would just run down that real quick just sure. to make sure that we've got everything straight. Sure. And the count will be Saturday, July 21st from 9 to 11 a.m. We'll have a brief orientation earlier that morning and we will have sites all along the ocean coast starting at Fenwick Island and going to Lewis and then from Lewis up to Smyrna. And again, they can call 302-228-5029. Suzanne Thurman, the executive director and founder of the Murray Institute. Thank you so much for coming You're in this afternoon. It's welcome. awesome talking to you. Thank you. Oh, that excited me. <laughs> well, if you'd like more information on Murr Institute and all of its programs, all you have to do is go to DelmarvaLife.com, click on the show tab. Up next on Delmarva Life, from trees to talent, how one man is turning out pieces of art made of wood. Brian has a look at how he makes it all happen. Delmarva Life, life at its best here on Delmarva.